Okay, here is our 1980, 1999 train, 18, XL 1800 in defrost mode. And it's a five ton unit. Take a gander at that. And here we got uh, about 38 degrees this morning. And she's uh, been working like a champ. Trying to get here where I can show you the steam rolling off of this thing. It's so cool. Neat. We got wind coming out of the north, so it's kind of blowing the steam away. But you can still see it pretty good, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Woo! Pretty wild. Anyway, it's a. Five ton compressor and a two and a half ton compressor. Only one run, runs at a time. And when the temperature in the house gets about two degrees different from the thermometer, that's when it uh, that's when it kicks in. This little one here we don't use anymore. Haven't used it actually since this was installed in 1999. So she's in defrost, which is perfect. Whew. It's kind of cold out here, though. The wind is really cold. <clears throat> it's about, I have it set for 65 in the house. It's a, actually a temperature everywhere I've measured. It's about 67, 68. So, yeah, you can see her steaming. She's a steamer. She's a steamer, Mama. She's a steamer. Is a steamer. <laughs> She's a steamer. All right. This has been a fabulous machine, I gotta tell you. There aren't too many air conditioner units that are built like this anymore today. This is an R22 system. It's been kind of Difficult to find anybody to work on it. Even the people that installed it don't want anything to do with it, which is a bit of a surprise. I called them to come out and just do a preventative maintenance on it, and they're like, yeah, we don't really work on R22 stuff anymore. So, okay. Anyway, so I've done most of the maintenance on it myself. I put in all new capacitors a few years ago. And just for grins and giggles, I installed a new, uh, couple of new contactors. And I measured the resistance of the old ones against the new ones, and they're exactly the same. There we go. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. There we go. There she just switched back. And we're heating again. And there you go, full defrost cycle on a five ton slash two and a half ton train XL 1800 from 1999. Still running strong. This beast runs almost every day, all day. Because here in central Florida, we're hot and humid most of the year. And uh, you can see we got a little moisture here on the ground.